Right, how we're doing? Been a while on it. This is just a quick update video on the meet that we're having. Okay, um, it is on the 9th, 10th, 11th of July. Okay, um, the postcode for that is Delta Lima 159 Alpha November. Okay, that will take you to Stanley Cook Primary School, and I've done a video to put into this to how you get down to Camp Bob, all right, the Northeast Bushcraft meet. Right, um, anybody wanting to come? um on the thursday all right which is the 8th of july that's not a problem uh but get there about one o'clock i would say all right because it gives the lads time to get up there you can come on on the thursday night all right that's a free night for you so all right there's not going to be an out happening it's just so you can get set up people coming from london lincolnshire scotland manchester wherever you're coming from all right uh wales hopefully um yeah you can uh you can come on the thursday so you can make a right weekend of it leave on the monday all right uh, that's not a problem. I've had a few people asking that. So, yep, yeah, you can come on the 8th. So, it's the 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, leave on the 12th. All right, so that's that covered. There is a video. Like I say, there's going to be a few videos put into here. This is just an update video of the meet. Okay, um, few changes. Um, one is if you're bringing your air rifle up, all right, to the range, okay, or to shoot up at uh, this meet, you need to have your own insurance. All right, um, that's not a problem getting your insurance, it's really easy. You go onto Google, put in air rifle insurance and find the best deal for you. It's between 15 and 25 pound for the year. Um, we need to have that installed because we have got public liability up there that we're covered that way, but we need to have uh, your own insurances. Um, so if you can get that sorted, that's not a problem. You can use your air rifle up there. If you haven't got the insurance or any proof of the insurance, you will not be using your own air rifle up at Camp Bob, all right? Um, it's just a no-no, all right? Every single member there has insurance. We need to get it ourselves anyway. I'm through Basque. They're quite a pricey one, but I shoot other guns as well, same as Gaz and Mark and um, Baz. They're all through different, like, Basque and that because we shoot other guns. But generally, the lads who's just got the air rifles goes through an air rifle insurance um, company on Google. It's pennies, all right? You'll get an email confirmation to say that you've got insurance cover by the time if you do it now you'll have your little court to say that you're covered all right it's not a problem it's a cracking little range you'll have some good fun up there so make sure you've got your air rifle insurance okay if you haven't got it you won't be shooting up there sorry about that but that's just the way it is um right on a positive note um we have a bounty castle booked um up at the, up in the big field okay that's going to be in the big field we have a archery range up in the big field um so if you've never tried archery that's going to be, you know, you'll you'll really enjoy it. The kids will love it. Uh, we've got axe range, um, catapult range, okay? And we've also got the air rifle range, which Eric is going to be doing a thing for the kids, um, getting them into shooting pistols, proper air pistols. Um, it's like a duck shoot, I think he's doing. Um, but if you go over to Eric's channel, it's um, Old Man in a Shed, okay, on YouTube. I'll put a link to his videos down here and in, uh, in, in the bottom of my description um, and if you go and check him out he's got a, a load of videos on what he's doing up at the meet all right it'd be good to go and support him he's got a cracking channel um old man in a shed all right i'll put a link to him and please go and support him all right because he does some great videos of a camp bob and uh like i say he's doing he's also done a video on what he's doing for the kids all right um so yeah that's that covered right next thing is um i'm going to Send us over now to a few videos that I've done. We've been up there and we've done a lot of work, all right, to get this meet going, all right? It's going to be an absolutely cracking weekend. It'll be better than last year. Um, I'm hoping we're going to have a climbing wall in as well. Um, that'll be good if we can get that. Um, there's a few activities going on and every activity is free, okay? Everything that Camp Bob's doing is free, all right? Um, we're not going to charge now for it. It's, you know, we want the kids to come up and enjoy it and experience something different, you know what I mean, um, than sitting on the PlayStations and that. They're in the woods. They're camping with a family, and I think that's what it's all about. We've had a shit year, absolutely shit, well, a year and a half um, with all this that's going on. Um, I will ask you all why, why I'm on about that is keep a two-metre distance between your tents, all right, just to keep our backs covered and everything like that, right? And we'll be fine. We'll be absolutely fine. You're safer outside in the fresh air than you are going shopping with your last to uh, Asda and that anyway. So just keep a two metre distance between your, between your tents and we'll be fine that way. Right, we have a few stalls coming, hopefully. Um, I know Mr. Scooty is going to be there with a the stall selling his, um, selling his hobo reels and his pens. He makes homemade pens. Um, he makes fire steels. Uh, really, really good craft 
Crotsman is there, Scooty, so you'll see him there. He's with all the Baz a lot, okay? But anybody who wants to bring any stuff, bring it along. And any old gear that you want to sell, get get like rid of it there. It's a perfect place to get rid of it, you know? You'll be surprised. Your your crap could be someone else's treasure, so, you know, you do a wheel and deal and maybe make yourself a few quid. Anybody who wants to bring any stalls who's watching this, all right, in the Northeast, if you've got, like, you know, stuff that you think you could sell there, local prod produce, get it along and sell it. All right, we've got a blacksmith coming. All right, the blacksmith is going to be charging ten pound if you book on Northeast Bushcraft on his little um, slot he's got on there. Um, if you book, if you pre-book it, it's ten pound. If you pay on the day, it's fifteen pound. But what he's doing is he's going to let you make your own knife. All right, blacksmith style. Okay, absolutely cracking deal he's got going. Um, and the winner, the, everybody who enters making their own knife. Um, he's going to judge at the end of the weekend and whoever has made the best knife all right he's going to do donate one of his knives which i think is absolutely awesome all right he's also going to be selling um pot hangers flint and steels knives probably um he's going to have a little stall up there so go over and say hello to him and ask him what he's doing and i'm sure he'll quite happily tell you and get yourself booked onto his knife making thing you know i think it'll be really good um you know kids can do it i'm thinking kids can do it uh, but even the adults, it's actually good, you know. I'm definitely going to have a go, so brilliant. Right, that's that one covered. Um, anybody um, anybody who wants to sell anything, I think we've got a lad coming from Stanley Crook. He's got a Army and Navy store. He's going to be bringing a load of gear, hopefully. If his weekends match, he said he'd definitely come down, all right, because it could be a good plug for his um, shop just at the top of the street anyway. So he'll be coming down. Anybody else who's watching this, if you want to bring a stall, it's not a problem. Come along, bring a stall. It's £5 a night, right? For the stall holders as well, it's £5 a night um, per adult, all right? Kids are free. This is for everybody, all right? So it's £5 a night per adult, per night, all right? Kids, if you've got three, six, nine kids, they're all free, all right? And all the activities that we're doing there are free, okay? It's just a really good place to come. You can even use Camp Bob um as a base so if you're coming from all over the country you could use it as a base and head off to beamish head off to the steam rally thing that's happening in uh in chesley street there's loads of activities you could do yourself there's middleton teasdale's just up up like the road some lovely waterfalls high force and all that so you could actually use it as a weekend base all right from the thursday through until the monday and just go and head off and do your activities and come back on a night time and enjoy camp bob you know because we'll have things going on up in the main arena uh, which is in the main woods uh, under the parachute. We'll have a fire going and a sing song and that, you know. We've got a barbecue stuff going on up there, hot dogs and burgers. Um, they'll be going on at certain times. All the times will be on a piece of paper when you come and see where. Um, you take a picture of it and you'll know what's happening, okay? So that's that sorted. Right, I'm having a waffle. You know me, I do like a waffle. So the postcode for this meet is DL159 Alpha November, okay? If you can share this video, anybody who's watching this video and you think you're in a group that might benefit from it, get yourselves up. It's going to be a crack on weekend. Um, and like I say, you know, you can use it as a base and go and do other things. There's plenty of lovely hills to go and walk in Middleton Teesdale and stuff like that, you know. Um, the Yorkshire Moose is not far away. So, you know, think about that, you know. You could maybe use it as a base, okay? But we're going to have things happening there and I think you'll enjoy it. It went really well last last year. We've got now but great... Um, Great comments back. It went absolutely brilliant. I think this year will be better. We've got a few more activities going on. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm waffling. You know me. I will. I'll, I'll add me videos in now that um, I've done up there, so you can see what's going on with the parking and everything. Um, we're basically the people who's going in the woods. We want them parked at a certain place. All right. If you're camping in the field, you can camp wherever you want next to your tent. Okay. It's common sense. So I've got a few videos now. I'm going to add in. I'm waffling, I'm waffling, I'm waffling. I'm on a few ad videos I've, I'm going to add in now. Um, and yeah, just I'll come back to you if I've forgotten anything, okay? But if not, I'll see you all there. I think it's going to be an absolutely cracking week weekend and I cannot wait for it. There's a lot of hard work gone in to get this to happen. So from me and Gaz to every member who's there, I want to thank you because uh, it wouldn't happen unless it was used to helping as well, all right? So brilliant and I appreciate it. Anyway, there's me waffle. I'll see you later. Enjoy these couple of videos. See you in a bit. Right, how we doing? Right, this is the gates to Camp Bob, okay? This is if you're coming in and you're going in to do the hammocking or the ground dwelling, all right? Or one-man tents. That's all we can have in there. Um, got Gaz there. Gaz has just come up. Right, 
when you come in off the main road which is up here okay the school's just up here you come down and you come down a little track all the way down all the way down you'll come to the muck heap at the bottom you'll turn right and you'll follow this track all the way up i want nobody going over the field all right you come straight up this track to come and see us and we're gonna have a big um tent here right in this tent you're gonna either see me or gaz yeah. or one of the members and in there we're going to just ask you how long you're staying for if you're in the field or you're in the in the woods all right if you're in the field all right this is the field you've got 18 acres to go and play with all right there's plenty of space for everybody okay um we're gonna have toilets in the middle okay toilets and urinals uh, so they'll be in the middle we've got a water source just at the corner uh, where my finger is there's a white board that's running clean water. We've drank it for four years yet, never been a problem. So there's a tap on the back of that. You've also seen the tap inside the woods. Okay, um, I'm gonna show you that when we go in. So when you come in, I know it's a waffle, but I want you all to come up this drive. Do not go over this grass, okay? Because what we're gonna be doing is, people who are in the woods camping, okay, hammocking and that, you, I want everybody's car parked like that. Okay, with your back to the road, in a line, okay, going down and then, in the middle, I want a gap in front of mine of another vehicle, all right? And then, the other, this is all gonna get cut, by the way. This is long, really long grass, but farmer's gonna cut this just uh, just a couple of couple of days before we before we do the air meet. So you're gonna have your, the woods lads with the cars all in a straight line all the way down there, exactly how mine's parked. And then on the opposite side, I want a gap, then a car with the front of the car pointing mine, and then the back pointing the field, okay? And then running straight down again all right so what we're going to have is a row of cars down that way a row of cars down that way with a gap in the middle so people can get out with the cars okay if that makes sense to you that's just for the people who is camping in the woods all right so that's that sorted everybody else once you've come to see us and you're camping in their field come crack on get yourselves set up hopefully you shouldn't be coming in and out with your cars you'll have everything here we're also going to be selling beers up at the top We've got hot dogs, burgers, stuff like that. Um, we'll have beers and pop, stuff like that. So save, we don't want anyone leaving here drink driving or anything like that. So bring enough beers for yourselves or come and buy some of us. We'll have some beers at the top anyway. Uh, big bottle, of big bucket of ice and all that stuff. So they'll be nice and cold. Right, so that's that. Um, I'm just trying to think what else. We've got the water. We've got the tent. Right, we're going to have archery. The archery and the we've got a, um, a bouncy castle going up against that bush okay against that bush we'll probably have the archery just to, just near the past past the water all right um, and then we'll have the bounty castle or either way around we'll probably have the bounty castle then the archery all right it's all going to be cornered off it's all going to be safe so not a problem we're going to have archery up here for the kids to have a go at the archery also the adults as well if they want to have a go we've got a few lads who are qualified in here now uh, to take archery lessons so we're going to have that up we're going to have hay bales up everything there um, the bounty castle we're gonna have some stalls coming down here so we're gonna have the blacksmith definitely here um, the blacksmith is going to be doing um, knife making for you so you can make your own knife by the blacksmith all right he's charging 10 pound if you pre book it on the northeast bushcraft page or it's 15 pound on the day and what he's doing is he's going to let you make your own knife he's going to demonstrate how to make a knife and he'll help you make it and then at the end the end of the weekend he's going to check out see which which knife's the best that's been made and he's going to donate one of his knives to yourselves whoever's won it whoever's made the best knife for over the weekend will win one of his knives that he makes you know but he's put a few posts up on the northeast bushcraft so go and check it out he's going to bring loads of other stuff he's selling um like pot hangers and things like that he's going to have quite a quite a good stall going anybody else who wants to bring a stall up look at the size of this you could have a stall up so if anyone's watching and you think you could sell something here come up come and come and join in you know it's five pound a night per person that's if you've got a stall as well not a problem five pound a night um and kids under 16 are free all right so that's the field i hope what i'll do is i'll put a picture on for you all right i'll put a picture in here it'll probably be as i'm talking now um, and you'll see the road coming up the the hq tent with the car parking for the woods the car parking for the tents. When you're in the big field, camp, uh, put your cars next to your tents. Not a problem. But that is a colossal field. This picture won't do it just. It is massive. Um, right, we're going to go into the woods now. Okay. Um, and I'll bring you back once we get up to the top of the woods. All right. 
Right, up up to the main area in the woods. Give you a quick look round. We've got a 12 by 12 for hire. I think Gaz has got that booked up. And all the rest of them are all members huts. You know, own little spaces they've got, you know. This is what it is, it's a private woodland. Uh, we've got 12 members and they've all got their own pictures, all right? But what we do is we open it up a couple of times a year. All right, so we open it up a couple of times a year on the 9th, 10th, 11th of July, 2021. So we're going to give you a little show around in here. We have the main, this is what we call the main area in the woods, all right? The big parachute, everyone sits under here. We get a nice fire going. Uh, once the beers are flown later on at night, we get a jam going, you know, everyone's singing and got a few good guitarists. Um, and we have a right good laugh around here, you know. Um, that's what we call the bar. This is the kitchen. This is where we're going to be doing all the food from. Uh, we've got the barbecue there. Um, See, so there's more little pictures all over. What we've got up here is we've got the toilets. So I'll show you. So that's the bar. There's five extinguishers all over. You'll notice them when you come in. All right. We've got lighting up. So the lighting goes round. So on a night time, we'll have that set up so kids can get up in the night. Um, the path's all lit up. That's a female toilet. There's a couple of um, ladies' toilets in there. And what we've got here is the new one we've been doing. Now we've got one of them done. And the other one's going to be done. We're just on finishing that now. That'll be done by the time we um, have the next meet uh, with the, the big meat. But what we've got in here is we've got a compost and toilet, all right? Okay. And what you do is that'll be sawdust. Um, you put a handful of sawdust in. All right. Before you have a shit, put a handful of sawdust in. Have your shit. All right. Put a handful of sawdust afterwards, okay? And what it is, it's got a separator. So you've got the hole at the back and a hole at the front. Obviously one for your shit, one for your piss. So it's not all pissy and stinking. It's um, actually just the, the shit's going at the back, composting, and your piss is on a drain away and it goes out the back. All right, so it's a cracking setup. We've just put some lights up. We've got a light up there. We've got a light up there. Um, so, sorry, someone was ringing us there. So we've got a light up there. So that'll come on when you come in in the night. If not, there's a little string at the top, pull that. Now, this is just for people in the woods, all right? And we would prefer if the people in the woods could use the main toilets, all right? But if you've got to use them, use them, because they're really for the members. But like I say, it's a meet. It's going to be open. You will be able to use them. But please do the composting properly. Put sawdust down first. So like sawdust and ash, all right? Put that down before you have your shit. Just a little scoop of it. Doesn't need to be loads. Just a scoop in. Do, do your business. Um, and then a scoop over the top, close the lid, jobs are good and all right. Uh, we don't want the kids using that, all right? So no kids will be using that. The kids can go in the main one because it'll just end up getting wrecked. That's the other one we're getting done. In here, all right, I mean, most people will be having a piss in the woods, all right? As long as there's no kids around, all right? You, there's plenty of places to go and hide and have a quick slash, you know? But if there's kids around, just come up here. There's a proper pisser there, all right? Um, it all drains away to the back and buggers off around the back, you know. So there's a pisser as well. So we've got a pisser and we've got a couple of toilets in the woods. All right, that's that done. And like I say, we've got the lights up in the trees. You see the lights in the trees. They're, they're going to be all the way down the path, all right, uh, for the night time. When it gets dark, you can find your way up. Um, we've also got down here a tap, all right, with fresh water. There'll be light over the top of here. This will be running at night, so if you need water in the night, you know where to come. All right, fresh water. I say in the other video what I've just done. We've been up here four year. We've drunk that water. It's been no problem. All right. Um, this kitchen and fire area, I've spoke about that. This will all be lifted up. This comes up. It's all on a pulley system, so that'll all be lit up. And we'll have the, we'll have the barbecue stuff going on there. Burgers, hot dogs. Uh, we'll have drinking that in there pop for the kids if you've run out um like i say we don't want people leaving here once you're here we'd like to think that you've got enough stuff to last you and if you haven't we're gonna have some stuff up here so um you've got plenty of beers and that you know now over here 
Let's take this for a walk around. There's going to be a lot of people who've seen all these videos, all right? But there's a lot of people coming who haven't seen the videos. So this is what Comp Bob's about, all right? It's a, it's a members club. And we open the doors a couple of times a year. Um, and it's come to that time, you know? 9th, 10th, 11th of July. Um, if anyone's coming from down London, Manchester, Lincoln, um, Wales, Scotland... You can come on the Thursday if you want because you're coming a distance. Um, we're going to be open on the Thursday, all right, which is the 8th. All right, so if you want to come on the Thursday, you're more than welcome to come up on the Thursday and leave on the Monday, all right, so you can make a good weekend of it, all right. And it's a fiver per person per night. Kids are free, all right, that's the one. Under 16 are free. And it doesn't matter if you've got five kids or ten kids, they're all free, all right, that's the other good thing. Um, right, we've got a catapult range here, all right, that's the new catapult range we've just built. Okay, that's all ready to go for the, we're going to have a catapult competition on. Okay, down here, on the far side, we have, we're going to have the axe on for the kids as well. We've had some new axes made. Um, Chris has made some more axes. So we're going to have some axe, an axe range there. Okay, that's an axe range. We are in the big field, I think I mentioned it in the field video. We are going to have some archery going on for the kids and adults all right so if you've never done archery you can come and have a go at that all right um it's all free for the kids mind it's all free all right all the pistols all the uh, axe thrown the catapults we've got catapults for sale up here we've got loads of catapults and uh, pouches with the ball bearings in for the kids if they want to buy them we've got about i think we've got about 10 for sale up here like proper packs of them um we've got them for sale this is the range okay now eric He's going to be doing the, the the kids pistol and rifle competition, all right? It's a kids one only, but if any lads want to come up with their own air rifles, all right, you've got to have your own insurance. I'm through Basque. Uh, Gary's through Basque. There's a few lads through Basque, but there's a few lads who just use it for the air rivals. They have went through a cheaper, cheaper um, air rifle insurance. It works out about 15 to 25 quid. But that'll cover you for the year. And really, if you've got an air rifle, you should have it. Because if out goes wrong, you're covered, you know. So before you even think about bringing an air rifle up here, all right, we've got public liability at Camp Bob, but it doesn't cover us for the air rifles, all right. So if you're bringing your own air rifle up here, you need, and this is fact, you will not be on these ranges unless you've got your own insurance. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Last year, we had people up here, and they were up here firing through the night, um... You know, they were trying to tell us they were ex-squaddies or they were still in the army, but they were firing night time. And you couldn't see now down there, so I don't know what regiment that kid was from, like, but um, obviously a shit one, because if that's his drills, then uh, the bad ones. But like I say, because of that, it's spoiled it. Um, there'll, be, there'll be times that you can come up and shoot it, and there'll be times that, obviously, it's going to be manned by one of the members, all right? And to fire your air rifle up here, you're going to need a certificate. Like I say, there's not a problem when you're bringing your air rifle up, but if you want to bring your air rifle up, get the insurance. You can get it online, put in air rifle insurance. It'll pop up, cheapest quote, go and buy it and you're covered. Bring that uh, form up. You can get it all done by you. It's all done by email. They'll take the money out and it's an email on your phone, all right? Bring it up and you're more than welcome to bring your air rifle up. There's a lot of lads had some canny stuff and they were sitting plinking away all, all day. But like I say, there was a few lads last year who spoiled it. So that's the rules up here now. As you can see here, I'm sorry I'm waffling, but I need to get these safety measures in. All right, is you've got a blue rope. All right, this is a no-go area for any kids or adults, all right, apart from members. All right, you've got a blue rope going here. It goes all the way around. It goes around the back of the toilets where I've just took you. All right, and it carries on all the way up. Anybody caught in this area, all right, you'll be... Back to the campsite, uh, back to the field, and we'll ask you to leave. It's as simple as that. We'll kind of get it knee clearer. Listen, there's not many rules here, but safety's got to be a rule, all right? Where you've got bullets, pellets, um, axes flying, ball bearings flying, you cannot go beyond this blue line. So please, parents, if you're coming up right, and I sound as though I'm giving you a lecture, it's not that. We've just got to have our backs covered. Um, but can you please just tell the kids, when you get to the blue lap, blue rope up in the woods, stop. Don't go past it. If you can just drill that into the kids, that's the only health and safety thing, really. We want kids to come up here and enjoy it. What we don't want is kids running past this area. It's only a small area that the kids need to understand. So if you're up here with them, all right, just explain to them, don't go past their kids, you know, and everything will be fine, right? But I've got to drill that into you. So that's that. Um, 
Anything else, Gary, you can think? No. Nah. Obviously, you've covered the insurance side of things. Yep. You've covered the no entry out there because of the potential hazard. Yep. Um, other than that, come up and enjoy yourself. Well, yeah, it's a big yeah. class. Well, that's what it's about. It's about enjoying yourself. I mean, you know, from the year we've had to what we've created now in three and a half year with our team um, is awesome. And we want you to enjoy it as well. Yeah. Hence why we do what we do for you. Like I say, this video is this little bit of the video is a bit of like don't do, don't do, don't do. But we've got to drill that in here, you know. If you don't know what's from right from wrong up here, accidents could happen. Yeah. People can get hurt. So that's what There's I've got no to drill in for you. All right. I want everyone to come here and enjoy it. And we always do. But like I just said, we had a few people at one o'clock in the morning, we had to tell them to sod off, you know. Um like I say last year was absolutely spot on, but we did have a few people. Where you're always going to get it, and you're yeah. going to learn from it, yeah, yeah. And we learn from it, that's why now you've got to have your own insurance. Like I say, that's the catapult range. I'm waffling, you know, I do like a waffle, people, but I've got to drill it, got to drill it, right? Um, and like I say, I think that's about it, guys, isn't it? Really, yeah. um, air rifle insurance, safety zone, you can, um, have, fires anywhere you can have your fires as long as you've got the see here in the woods. If you want a little fire, have a little fire, it's not a problem, okay? As long as you just pull everything back so nothing's going to burn. Have your little fire. Plenty um, there's plenty of stuff lying about. You don't even need to bring firewood if you're in here because there's plenty of stuff uh, lying about. All your dead fall. There's loads of it. Absolutely loads of it, you know. Um, and yeah, come up and enjoy it. That's what it's all about. And like I say, around here on a night time, it's class, isn't it? John gets his karaoke head on. Hi, <laughs> when I've had a few beers. So, yeah, get the fire going. It's roaring. We've got the big parachute up. You know, it's class. Love it. Little jam around the fire. Um, and like I say, we've done a lot in the past year through this pandemic because we've been able to come up here And this is where we've put the time, you know And it's going to be better this year And hopefully it'll be better the year after and the year after And we're just try trying to keep better in it, you know Anyway, I've waffled for 12 or 13 minutes in this little section of a video Alright, it's going to be an hour long, this video So, I think that's it I'll see you later um, I'll be back talking in my house now Alright, see you later Ta -da. Right, here we are at the school, all right? That is Stanley Cook Primary School. That needs to be on your right-hand side, all right, when you're coming to Camp Bob, all right, for the Northeast Bushcraft Meet. Now, if you have this on your right-hand side, right, follow the road down. We're going down 200, 300 metres, okay? All right, so we're driving down. Stanley Cook Primary School is on the right-hand side. We're driving down. There's a house on the left, okay? The house on the left, after the house on the left, you'll see the conifer trees. You take a left at the conifer trees, right? If you're coming from Durham, you'll probably come in that way. Look for the conifer trees, you're turning right, okay? So you come in here, you go left, and this is the lane all the way down to the big field. Now, when you come down here, you'll go down and you'll follow that road to the right, then you'll follow it to the left and just follow the track straight down. Don't head off to the left, that's the motocross track. Follow it straight on down, you'll see all the tents, and that is Northeast Bushcraft Meet. Right, how are we all doing? This is the last video I'm going to be doing for the Northeast Bushcraft Meet. Um, it's happening on the 9th, 10th, 11th of July. Okay, um, if anyone's coming to the Northeast from far afield, like London, Scotland, Manchester, Lincoln, I know there's a few Basilock coming down, um, anywhere in the country. <coughs> And you want to come on the Thursday, the 8th, okay? That's not a problem. And you can stay till the Monday if you want, all right? 12 o'clock Monday, head off, you know? Um, the postcode for the place is Delta Lima 159 Alpha November, okay? Now, that there will take you to a school. I know a lot of you have heard these videos, but we've got a few changes happening in this video, so please bear with us, all right? If you've heard it, you know the crack. But just please bear with the video because we have got a few changes going on. That's why I'm repeating it. A um, few things have happened, all right? So nothing bad, nothing bad at all, but just a few changes. That postcode takes you to a school in Stanley Cook, County Durham, okay? Um, I've done a video, okay? There's a few videos going to be getting added on into here. Um, so you'll see. You'll see what I'm on about. I'm just trying to give you a bit of an update of what's happening at the... Oh, 